What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Todd War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to run off where we left off, uh, we successfully sieged and assaulted and captured the city of Berlin, the heart of Prussian power. And now this force that was currently based up here in this in, near this dockyard is moving south and we have been given an opportunity to, to intercept it. Firstly, the opportunity to be denied with our garrison because they need time to replenish and refit. But our reinforcing army is in good shape and they are able to intercept plus uh, do a lot of damage to this army to the south which I think is the new Breslau garrison. So we've got quite a good opportunity here to knock out uh, some quite important units such as these heavy horse guard artillery. So without further ado, let's take them out. Yeah, this this campaign is going pretty good. The World War II the, the broad strategy proposed by Eisenhower uh, is definitely worked uh, because the Prussians and, and it has cost them uh, the north of the continent. So let's put these guns up on this hill. Let's put a good defensive position down. Put some Nizam here ready to deploy out to defend the right flank of my artillery position. Ah, you're okay like that. Got two units of Grenadiers and a unit of Nizam waiting to see if the AI screw me over in deployment. Cavalry on each flank. Janissaries in reserve. General in the centre. <laughs> Classic. You and you. Oh, nuts. Run my heart is back. Got, got far too keen there. Send my cavalry over. Some of my cavalry over to immediately intercept. So we've managed to knock out one of their gun teams quite conclusively. You guys start to knock out some of the cavalry that's running in. Got my Janissary is getting over here, ready to respond to the inevitable cavalry charges. Running my this cavalry over here, ready to intercept some of these forces over here. Okay, the Nizam, you probably don't need to come over quite so aggressively. You guys both canister shot this unit of light dragoons that's coming in hard and fast. You drop in square. I do see them coming in. Drop you guys in square, both of you. Uh, maybe not 63rd. You might guys might be able to stay in formation. Mamelukes are doing good. Wiping out their artillery. We've done some good damage. There's Swiss infantry. That's why my Sapahis are taking them. They're sending some dragoons to support. I'll send some infantry over to help them out. That sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, back over here. Trying again to hit the 13th Regiment are trying once more to make it to our front. Our howitzers are now tucked in safe and sound. See more cavalry pushing in. Janissaries form square to hold up those reinforcements. Light Dragoons are going down. Probably get this unit of Sipahi over onto the left. Here come Carabiners. These houses are all a bit close to do too much help. So you guys 
focus on 12 pound howitzer to the rear. These artillery pieces focus on breaking this grenadier guard unit so I can send more men over to the left. So who's remaining? These European mercenaries. Let's bring you over onto the left. Let's get the Sepahi over here quickly. These Nizam can charge the front. These guys I want to break the Grenadier Guard so I can swing my entire army around to the left. Hessian Jaegers, take them out, take these infantry, push them round. How goes the war over here? You guys just get stuck in as infantry. The grenadiers have been broken. Switch you guys to round shot, aim at the horse guards. Because these guys are now going to push down from the hill. Ready to make that swing. Oh, devastating loss to the janissaries there. Okay, it's a pahi. Get my houses to start to plink at the horse guards. Field artillery engaged. Now, horse artillery unit. You guys engage the artillery and cavalry, which I don't really want you to do. Get you guys out of formation. Oh, God. Sapahis and Mamelukes. Just get them out of that fight. My infantry are more than enough to ambush their men as they come in. Push the flank. You guys need to knock out the Fry Corps fairly ricky tick. Semat Janissaries have mown a lot of them down. So let's get my Janissaries out of the way. Mamelukes and Sapahi, come on. Get out of here, General. You involved, get my Sapahi to knock out their artillery. These are infantry fall back, and that is quite a uh, conclusive destruction of Prussian forces, I think. Continue. Stop the artillery. Let these guys continue to shoot at those guys as they route. March my line infantry back. So you guys go after the Hessian Jaeger. You guys go after that unit of Freikorps. Let's stop firing at will. Yeah. You chase down the gunners. There's the Swiss Grenadier unit. Now oh, don't bother with the horse guards. Not when there's good infantry to kill. Hey, they got spikes, but they put them down the wrong way. Suckers. To be honest, they've all they're all routing together so well. Um pretty simple to uh, take them out. It's nice of them to route together so coherently like that. There we go. Send everyone against that unit and then the only units left are all the way this side of the map and they will... These guys definitely aren't going to escape. My Sipahi may be heavy cavalry, they may be tired, but goddamn, they are fueled with an Ottoman fury. They are these people are not a war weary people. Close victory. That wasn't close. That was an 
excellent victory. Granted, we took a bit more damage than I'd like, but my god, that army has been cut to ribbons. And the garrison of Saxony has been forced back. That will need... Those forces will need plugging. Well, that gap in the line will need plugging from forces uh, elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I think they're trying to... When they do that, they're trying to path line, but they can't reconcile any direction to actually go. Yeah, you are now... <laughs> okay, so the forces in Estonia are going to raid around and just be annoying which is it's their prerogative i suppose but i think generally we've broken their power they, they don't have the uh the strength or the desire to push us the way they used to do they are now ours the moogles however that's two stacks and they're starting to do some raiding that's where the real danger lies. In them attempting economic warfare. So our forces in port may actually sally to attempt to defend our trade lanes. And the Italian navy continues to sit just offshore. And the Dagestanis are, with, are uh, sallying. So let's do it. Why well, power sat on our shores. And has my record... No, it has not. Good. <laughs> Sits still, and what I really need to check is just make sure it's not cutting the recording. So just a second, everyone. What's up, guys? This is The Rifleman, and this is just a bit of a public service announcement. So I've noticed this during recording Ottoman, my Ottoman Empire episode 60. And I use Bandicam, and in Bandicam, this setting was ticked. Now, I keep unchecking it, but for whatever reason, every so often it pops back on to being checked. And the reason why I notice it is when it's usually things like end turn phases or during loading screens when the, f when the, when the frame is not updated, uh, Bandicam chops the recording. So if during end turns or during loading screens, that's my sentences are really fragmented and choppy. This is the reason why it shouldn't matter during the uh, stuff on the campaign map or during the battles because things are going on. But this is why it's super annoying. Uh, I don't know why it does it. And yeah, so not a massive video, just a bit of housekeeping. I suppose I should, I should probably put a uh, separate playlist together of just admin type stuff just to let you know when things have when things are done pretty much because i would look at the timer and i would see actually can i even yes so obviously this is what i used to record and it's recording right now and you can see my levels bouncing up and down but the timer would freeze and then like jump forward four seconds and i wouldn't ever know if it's four seconds of me talking or if it's what it's done well sometimes it freezes when empire is broken not broken but when it you know when the end turns just grind to a halt the clock will stop and then i'll sit there go quiet and then it will jump forward again and i'll go ah good um but yeah for your awareness uh particularly because i've just listened to it back during that the battle screen um it might be a bit annoying so yeah, apologies for that. I definitely do try to keep an eye on this because I don't know why it changes. Um, but yeah, sorry everyone. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> I, I, I try my best. Radio. Thank you. And I'm back. And turns out what the software was doing was it was chopping my audio because a setting that I have previously unchecked got rechecked. Ugh, super annoying. But I'm glad I noticed it. Um, anyway, we know they're, they're coming at us, so just deploy my men out in an almighty line, see what they do. If they decide to hang around, then we will just attack. Although I may find myself wanting to deploy further back because of... Good! Mortars are not firing. How it's it? Oh, god damn it. I don't know why I've got into this habit of 
being okay with just not being good at checking my uh, deployment options. I oh, know it's stupid. I think it's just getting just getting lazy, really. I think that's the problem. Provincial cavalry up there as well. Put my infantry up there ready to block them in case they want to try and do anything silly. My 18 pounders. Start start knocking a hole in the wall. Oh, that's that cavalry. This is a bit dangerous. Let's start to prioritise how to fire on the right flank. I mean, they shouldn't be able to stand. Oh god, that's a great quick line shot. They shouldn't be able to withstand two squares because they're only provincial cavalry, and provincial cavalry isn't that good. I do want to provide a bit of protection for my artillery as it comes in. Yeah, don't break the square. Stay. Stay in square. Good. Pick new quick climb targets. Send my Bashi Bazooks in to counter charge. Set my line infantry up like that. It's not ideal, but I don't want to cross over too much with my don't want to cross over too much with the uh, infantry the square formation. The yeah, Ambassador Bazook should do good work against their provincial cav. Here comes their provincial cav. Bazooks out on the flank. Let's get our infantry redeployed. You may have to start ignoring the breach. Provincial cavalry have been shattered. So here's now the guts of their forces. The howitzer crews have abandoned their howitzers, which is lovely. There they are. Can you charge that line infantry unit, actually? Bashies. Let's then pivot you guys like so to make sure you don't shoot my men in the back. They didn't even have bayonets, because they have no research. Okay, the centre's a bit too close to engage now, so my hearts have to engage elsewhere. The centre is likely to fall. Shattered, shattered, broken, broken, shattered. Keep two units of line and my bashi's there to cover. And you guys can start to pivot and let's start to engage you guys with canister shot. Oh, they're attempting to charge, but we've got volley fire at point blank range. It's not to like. Ah, oh, they came back. Charge, there we go. Second broke. Okay, there we go. Just push in. Just to make sure you guys aren't firing.
you guys stop firing. God, this is going to be a slaughter fest. How many men can you kill? That's what it's going to turn into. How many men is your general capable of just eviscerating? Yeah. <laughs> They're, losing, they're winning slightly because my men aren't firing back. Obviously they've decided to come back. General's bodyguard continue to chase down the actual infantry. Yeah. As soon as they actually get proper cavalry involved, then it's too much. We're going to continue, and yeah, slaughter. It won't be a victory to us, though. We won't have captured the uh, the town. Which can feel a bit odd, that you can completely obliterate enemy forces like this, and it not count as an uh, actual win. There we are. The world works in mysterious ways. So let's have my artillery and quick climb, focus on the infantry unit that's still in the centre of our line. I mean, it doesn't look like they particularly know where they want to route. But they soon will. And once that is going to be away. away from my cavalry. Granted I haven't got much of it, but the stuff I do have, I love it. Let's get my foot artillery to continue working on the wall. To be honest, let's get my other archers to work on it as well. The problem is, is they are just running all over the shop. Take some doing. Thirty-six, thirty-five, twenty-eight. Let's re-engage because they're sat right there. Well, seemingly they can't engage. Okay, they're sent to attack. Let's take the general's bodyguard specifically, and they can hound those men. You guys stop firing. Come on, what I want. What I want is the pathfinding to work. Let my general chase, let my auto, you know, the auto pathfinding work for these guys. But let's try and get my general actually to knock out this one guy over here. I don't think they're realistically going to kill him by bumping into him, even though they probably should. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. There we go. They've, their forces have been gutted. and But like I said, they're, they're very much a sideshow to what's going on. Um, I am not bothered by their... Activities, you guys. Our firepower should be sufficiently overwhelming that we can just go black. Didn't lose any ships and we sunk both of theirs. Head back to Bandar Abbas. Let's replenish. Okay, enemy raid. So they're raiding. Uh, we've got... Okay, we actually didn't end up building a religious building in Kiev. So, if I put you here, we can intercept wherever this guy feels like he's going to go. You guys replenish. 
defend it. You guys replenish. Probably march over here to try and block them. Block Wolfgang Voss, which looks like the army from the north. Evict them out of Rostock. And then let's take Mr. Darnat. You push on up to this river. So then you control and have blocked off access from this section of Germany and down into Hanover. So you can now become a madrasa and a craft workshop. Germany no longer actively despise us. Despises us. The army can be replenished and you probably want some decent form of infantry but we also want to bring up bring up the guns and bring up the armoured cavalry let's upgrade the turkey the pleasure gardens here uh, just to try and keep the population on side Good upgrades being done. Let's keep our infrastructure going. Let's keep the ports growing. Gunnery school in Lithuania. They're becoming a major... Well, I want every major city to be a serious... Manufacturer... You know, potential manufacturer of goods. So these third rates move over to there. probably could do with recruiting a cheap unit to go into Rostock because they are going to raid it and that's okay if they do you are not going to push but what you may do is stay within range and replenish some of your men from Timurhan Naili Naili and be nearby in case they need support You need reinforcements. You need some good, some good heavy artillery that's coming up. You need some good howitzers. You need some good melee infantry. We can get some Janissary grenadiers. They'd be a good shout. Definitely do with some me melee, melee infantry. Second band Janissary riflemen would be good, but they're quite far away. It's because some local Albanian skirmishes involved. And you definitely want some cavalry. You're going to get some armoured cavalry coming up, but let's get some Mamelukes to also provide some support. Let's upgrade some of these industry buildings. Very much industrialising uh, this part of Germany. Build a military engineer school. You guys need to replenish and you guys look like you need melee infantry. So let's get two Sekban. And that will probably... I suppose I might actually want two more units of actual infantry. Uh, this force up here. You've got some guns on the way up to you, I believe. But you can also get some... Get a detachment of... Nope. Let's get a detachment of Nizam. Infantry. Where do they go? Where do they go? Where do they go? There they are. Just a good turn's worth. Just to fill them out, because if the trouble is if the Swedes attack, then we'll need we'll need bulk. Need bodies on the ground. You will be our next target. This chap here, who is depleted, so he might not actually be a particularly strong unit. Okay, let's take this navy basing out of Athens. They can, I was going to say, move up towards Valletta, but we do already have that navy there. 
shipyard, upgrade to a dockyard. Let's send Hassan Pasha to go scout out Tunis. They've got a small navy and they've got a large conscript army in command of the city. We are going to push and capture you, sir. And we may even end up sailing up and taking Venice itself. That will really surprise them and blow a hole in their lines. You could probably leave the city, move this army in. You're building a madrasa, so our agent, who is very good, push on to Prague and begin the conversion. But we won't be long before we fight the great battle of uh, Hungary, which might actually be sooner rather than later. That would certainly clear them out. What we do want to do is take Bindali Muta and let's go take out this raiding force that's been operating behind our lines. You don't want to let these armies just run around and have freedom. You want uh, you want to be able to just cut them out, take them out. If they run around your lands they run around behind your lines they will just keep raiding and raiding and then eventually they'll actually capture somewhere that's frustrating to take back it won't derail your overall strategy but it will just be frustrating which is all the justification i need okay, position yourselves like so for now let's go heavier on the light infantry on the left Let's get some melee infantry about. Group the bulk of our cavalry on the left. Three lovely sets of howitzers. Hand mortars provide close range support for our guns. Field artillery, folks fire, three pounder, 12 pounder howitzer. I already know what my howitzers are going to focus on. And as they've already fired, I may as well let them. Okay, now let's retarget my howitzers. Particularly to focus on the 12th that's pushing in. Quite close order. Who's out on the right? Swiss Grenadiers, Grenadiers, West European Mercenaries. I suppose it was kind of... Whoa, no. Yeah, actually, you're okay to push up on the right. They're going to get fired upon by my Janissaries. Let's retarget my howitzers very quickly. So the why they were so effective is because we've got with two units. We did have a period in the middle where there was there was double the amount of spikes. Again, I definitely targeted retargeted my howitzers. But it's somewhat of a tradition for me to quick climb my own men. Pfft, okay, you were definitely meant to charge them. My uh, infantry like the idea of I really like the idea of uh, just they liked the idea of uh, well, my cavalry like the idea of just sitting there shooting at them let's get one of those hearts is working on those infantry so who are you line infantry charge Swiss line infantry charge. Let's get out of 
skirmish mode, form into form into line. I want to, I want to get a quick climb shot onto these grenadiers prior to charging my men in. But I don't think I'm going to get it. So let's make sure I retarget. Okay, you push back, pull back. You guys, you firing at will? You are. So then let's split up our line. You guys curve to support. Actually, you guys push up to block. This unit of line infantry guards coming in. You guys provide support for the, for the Sipahi in the only way that makes a difference. Sipahi on to go and intercept the general's bodyguard. These men are, should be enough to knock out the Swiss grenadiers. Delhi horsemen, let's get them a run to run around the flank. Field artillery engage the militia. Delhi horsemen, focus fire the 12th, it's standing firm. So Pahi hit the Grenadier Guards. These men can push down the hill. Quick climbers focus on round shot into the 50th over there hiding behind their little wall. Okay, Deadly Horseman went the complete wrong way. Gendarmerie are abandoning the general's bodyguard to their fate. Ah oh no, they were moving to protect their artillery. Makes sense. Go after the gendarmerie. You guys, plus my general, can start to work on knocking out the remaining infantry. Push this line up to hit the 14th in the flank. The militia has decided to come out and play, or well, the Western European line infantry has decided to come out and play. Same with all these Hessian Jaeger towards the back. They can do some good damage, but I want to break the artillery first. General. General's bodyguard. Chase down the Swiss line. These militia have come back, so they can all quick line the 13th. Quick climb into the 13th. It doesn't look like they like it. 50th Regiment experiencing fire by rank in the most pleasant of forms. My Sapahi is just heavy cavalry, even though there might be Lancer cavalry. They are dealing with uh, light infantry. So even if they're not the best. Uh, following the charge, they are against the lightest of infantry. The line infantry guards are holding on, down to 52 men, until they break. There we 
go. Uh, let's just stop our artillery fire now. Actually, you guys all quick line the sixth. Sipahi about to charge into the rear of the gendarmerie, which is not going to go down well with them at all. And these guys are doing a good job at chasing down the Hessian Jäger. Sixth Regiment of Horses. The gendarmerie is not a heavy, heavy cavalry. They will be very unhappy with the idea of being charged in the rear by heavy cavalry. All that quick line has gone in. There we go. Engage the 10th light foot. Okay, you go after someone else. You go after the 14th foot. And damn right, we're going to continue. Chop them up. Actually, go after the... This is on Marie, I suppose. Everyone else is good, probably going to route before you get there. There we go. And everyone else is having a grand old time. Hello, Hessian Jäger. I know militia is only militia, but may as well take him out. I've got that unit of Sabahi off in the distance, chopping up the guardsmen. There we go, that's what we want to see. So we've got. Yeah, lost 600 men, they lost 2,600. Uh, they can uh, be as unhappy as they like. It looks like they're now going to be Sweden's problem. But I might run a unit of Semini over to Pamu just to make sure they can't pull the same trick again. And it's very nice to have actually punted them out of their safe space in Europe um, as it stands. You could make a run towards Prague but I want to see how this falls out and what I think might end up happening is well the guns are, these guns are moving up first you need men Nizam, 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 Nizam one, two, three, four, five. Realistically, it looks like it's all you're going to get. We've only got 200 cash left. But some of our units are becoming very, very experienced. Four turns till we end slavery or abolish slavery. Uh, but they'll be really running short on technologies to research. We've got some naval techs coming up. Five turns to machine rifling should be pretty neat. Uh, let's hit end turn. As our priests and spies continue to march up. We will start to need some of our agents to take out Catholic priests. On our territory. And one place I'm not spending enough time is down in Persia slash Baghdad. I should really start churning out more troops or more armies around Baghdad um, because you know that area is going to get very busy because it is the Mughal Empire. They don't do things in half measures. But now we control a significant amount of Europe, a crazy amount of Europe. Uh, we're starting to push past Denmark. There will be a point though where the Prussian military 
presence. Ah, no, they've got behind our line. You're going to run around, eh? Um, they, the, the Prussians will reach a point where they will begin to collapse. And is this navy now going to head around and start attacking our trade? No, they're going to blockade the Spanish. Okay, I'll take that. Yes, Prussia, you've got problems. Where do you deploy your men? Do you deploy your men to protect your territory, your allies? Because your capital, you've lost your capital and you won't be getting it back. <laughs> I'm more than happy for them to uh, continue doing this little dance uh, down in the south if it means we can quite easily uh, deal with them. In the no Well, I definitely trailed off then. So we can deal with them in the north. Uh, they are doing lots of deployment and redeployment shenanigans. Again, still down near Austria. And that is where the important ability to bust through their line is going to be. And their forces are growing. Their navy is back raiding once more. Their spies are coming in to steal our technology. Two armies are coming. We need... We need to recruit uh, some resupply columns to head down towards those territories. I really have ignored that front since the defeat of Persia, actually. Uh, but that's chiefly because it doesn't really serve us any key purpose. So again, you guys are sufficiently strong that you can just go blip. We lost one ship. They've fallen back. There's no point upgrading any of those territories in Persia. No in Zahedan. One more turn until you've got uh, defences. One more turn. Okay, you pick up a general. You still can't recruit Nizam. Is that military academy that brings those in? Nope, not yet. Pick up the great arsenal. So what do you need? You need... Infantry and howitzers. Personally, I think that's what you want. Infantry, howitzers, melee infantry. Or maybe grenadiers. And then similarly here in Baghdad, the doorbell's rung, but I know it's not for me, so I'm not... I, so one well, of my housemates is going to pick that up. Let's upgrade some of these industry buildings. Again, we're sieging Dagestan. I'm not really going to attack it, because, it's, like I said before, it's a very much a sideshow. So in Murad, I want to march up and I want to swap some of these artillery pieces out. Or oh, at the very least, for this army, if this army's going to go in and hit Hungary, I want them to be loaded up with great guns. Because we're going to have a whole lot of stuff coming in to help them out. Upgrade the Madrasa, let's upgrade you to a base mansion because you don't really need to recruit stuff. You march down here. So you've marched close to somewhere where you could do damage. But close to somewhere can do that can do damage isn't close enough. Okay, you can pick up a militia a melee unit. You can pick up a unit of Semat. Let's take our um Hashashin. Send him on down. Actually, let's send him down to Venice to have a look. If this guy attempts to uh, head eastwards, he is going to be in trouble. Got a nice bridge battle set up right there. Upgrade the military engineer school. Hmm. It is very tempting. 
bits. What do you need? You need howitzers. And I think we can probably... Okay, immediately here, go... Recruit three howitzers. Let's take your howitzers. Join up with them. And probably... A good, strong unit of Nizam. Join them. So you are down two howitzers and an infantry unit. So let's do that. You push out. This guy take positions on this bridge. And you uh, push, actually go swing north, well west, and then south to Dresden. Pick them up in a siege battle. Just hold on to them for now. So this guy, he can either go east. Let's dismantle this farm. He can either head east towards this army, or he can head... To be honest, it's tempting to get you just to hit Prague. It's a full stack, and it could cause some problems. Especially... Oh, if we could reinforce you... Yes, there we go. So the Warsaw army. Again, they're coming round to us. Take some time. Okay, so you, Mr. Fried, go up to join your relief column. Where are you coming from? Alright, you're going to join them. But we've now got uh, Breslau covered. So you could go to the south, then north. And we've then got Prague under siege as well. So then suddenly this pocket starts to look very vulnerable. So you're already getting stuff recruited. If we are to recruit a new army, a siege-busting army, let's get one set of guns up to there. Except I think two sets might be overkill. Especially if we want to still have this army do some good stuff on the battlefield. Uh, but what I feel tempted to do is take Mr. Ahmed Siri and let's go knock out the garrison at Prague. Because we've, because right now we're really busting through their line. Like they've focused a lot of their effort down here, and we will go after them for sure when the heavy guns show up. But this place has no defenses. So we could go in there, rebuild everything, and build some walls. So we're going to storm in and capture one of the great Austrian cities, and then we're going to have to see the, how they respond to our to our offensive. Because I suspect they will not be um, very gracious about it. Okay, artillery deployed back, and they're going to lob round shot from a distance. Howitzers are going to drop quick climb. Let's deploy a very small front, a very small uh, front front line fighting force. Skirmish with riflemen on one flank. Although, to be honest, this this army configuration does scream like almost a perfect flank attack an army that just rolls around the flanks and just goes and screws up everything it screws up in a good way not a bad way guys again sometimes deploying grouped units it seems really dumb obviously I want my infantry to move up as quickly as possible don't really care about that let's run the cavalry up make sure we're dropping quick climb on the targets we're interested in Bring a unit of Mamluk guards over to the left. 
field artillery, focus fire on whomever you like. I mean, light horse, you better do something because my pikes are coming to say hello. Push you up on the right. Both will not do good against the grenadiers, no doubt. Managing to push their cavalry back without actually uh, deploying significant forces. So our riflemen are having excellent crack. Oh, it goes wavering. Mamelu infantry guards deploy. Ah, they really are concerned about my melee infantry. In you run around the guards, go for the howitzers. Field artillery, engage battlefield targets. The Mamluk guards have outflanked their guns. Broken their, broken their lines. The mortars are done for. Stop. Actually, retarget. Quick climb into the centre. We're going to do a bit more of a conventional wrap around. We're going to crash into their militia with our melee infantry. The range infantry is doing a good job. You guys go in to help support this Mamluk guard unit. Go over here to help out that Mameluke unit. You guys push on. You guys charge. Line infantry guards in the flank. These guys push up. Let's form a new position. You guys roll on into the firelock arm citizenry. You guys hit the horse guards. Line infantry guards have rallied, so let's target them with our howitzers. Keep our melee infantry pushing on into the centre. Pivot you guys to engage the guards. These guys are more than enough to engage who we've got. You guys are more than enough to keep picking off the infantry. You guys charge on into the grenadiers. You guys charge on into the line infantry. And the guards are holding on. Halt all artillery fire. The riflemen continue to engage the garrison line. You run on to hit them. You guys stick with the grenadiers. It's just a an exodus of Austrians here. And all that's left are these guardsmen. Who are 
stubbornly holding on. So you are probably going to knock out that garrison line. You are going to knock out the grenadiers. Yes! Oh, let's yeah, let's end it there. There's no that was pretty damn comprehensive. <laughs> we lost a thousand men. They lost three. They lost their entire garrison. That was pretty good. Come on, take the city. Yes. Okay. Now we've got to hold it. So let's repair the Army Staff College, the Ordnance Board, Governor's Palace Observatory. Put walls in there, just because why not? You, your Ahmed City, you've been there from the start. Pushing through. Okay, so our agents are Hashashin. You move up into Strasbourg. Keep driving forward to maintain our line of sight. Actually, I might have to start killing these agents. Could you go to university? Strike one. Pleasure gardens. Not bad. But if we get rid of the university, minus five becomes plus 17 or some such. Don't rebuild anything because we're probably about to get raided. Makes sense, I think. Um, in terms of other stuff that needs doing, I don't think there is that much other stuff. Mr. Muta, you are going to march over to here in the event that we uh, make we get declared on by Finland. We are going to outflank this position and land and take. No, in, when we get declared on by Sweden, we're going to outflank this position over here and hit Finland and then attack from the west. Okay, sweet. Um, but then what we're going to do is take Timohan Nali, Nali Nali, and we are going to hit the town of Dresden. But looking at the timer and the fact I fought, I fought quite a few battles in this episode, um, I'm going to take a bit of a break. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the one of the. I mean, this is this isn't the end of the Prussians. But once they take Dresden, the only major city they have is Paris. They've lost their homeland. We're really busting through the continent. And you wait, this army at Prague can go down and encircle, help encircle and destroy Vienna. Um, but anyway, before I get ahead of myself, let's set this up. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.